Hi, in Noplan you can use time blocking to give your day a bit of structure and to plan which tasks you want to do in which hours. Let's start by creating our first time block. Type uh, plus then space to create a checklist item, but you can also use tasks, bullets or headings to do this. Then type the name of it, for example, review messages. So that's when I review my emails, Discord and other messages and reply to them. But I don't want to do this the whole day. And I plan to do this maybe one hour or uh, one and a half hours at 8 a.m. So the next step is you hover over the task and then you click on the drag item or drag button left of it and you drag it to the timeline at 8 a.m. for example. Let's drop it here and then you get an option to create a time block or an event. So first let's create a time block and you can also, if you don't want to see this context menu, you can press command and then drop it then it won't ask you and it will create a time block automatically or you press the option button to do the same for an event. So let's create a time block. Now you can change the end time of the time block by dragging the end of it or you can change also the start time or if you drag the complete time block you can also change the position of it. So let's say we review messages uh, from 8 a.m. till 9.30. Now you can continue creating the other time blocks for the day, for example, breakfast. But before we continue with this one, I want to point out a setting um, under to do. Then you, you, here you can uh, turn off time blocks completely or you can use text must contain and uh, put in an emoji or any kind of text here uh, to avoid accidental time blocks because no plan reads the time in your text like this one and sometimes you don't want you don't really want to create time blocks from a specific task and to avoid this you can use a emoji here and I recommend to use the time emoji for example press control command space to open the emoji panel and here type time and then we select the time emoji okay let's close this and let's delete this time block you can delete it by dragging it out of the sidebar and then it's gone. Basically it just deletes the time from your checklist or task uh, in this case. Uh, in this case it's a checklist but it removes the time from your text. And let's do it again so we see the emoji because no plan will fill also the emoji automatically for you. So let's do the emails. Now I press command so we don't see the context menu from 9 to 10.30 and breakfast we could Let's create an event out of this because this time block is not visible on your calendar. This time block just lives inside no plan and nowhere else. But if you want to have your time block also visible in the calendar, you can again, let's uh, drag it again into the timeline and drop it. And this time we click on add event. And what it does is replaces your the text which you had here, breakfast, with an embedded event. Now this event lives in your calendar as well and you can to drag the end time just like with the time blocks and the start time or the position of it and if you click on it you see also which calendar was used for it it uses the default calendar which is selected in the i call app or the default apple calendar app and you can change there the default calendar now you can't change the title of this event directly inside the editor but you can go to the sidebar, click on the event and here you can change uh, any values you can see. For example the title, breakfast with Frank in this case and then save it. And to get it updated here in the editor you just uh, simply switch to another node and then back and then it should be updated. So let's create a second time block uh, to show you how it looks like when you check them off. For example, after breakfast, let's work on proposal. Let's drag this after the breakfast and give it some end time. Now when we check off during the day, for example, imagine it's 9, uh, it's 10.30, we finished reviewing our messages and then we can check this off and then you can see it uh, displays with a lower opacity. So you now this one is done and this is the one you need to focus on. And another method I like to use is to write the tasks I want to work on in a specific time block below the time block. So you can hit enter be, uh, after the time block and then uh, tab. And you can use again checklists but I like to use tasks in this case 
uh, for this I write asterisk and then space and then you can write uh, the actual tasks you need to work on for example in work on proposal I need to make a call with Jim and if you want to time block from your project notes you can do this as well let's switch to a project note for example some project and you see the time blocks change the color of the line on the left here it becomes blue in this in this theme at least and if you want to switch to a different day you can hit uh, shift and then change the day in the calendar without switching or jumping to the daily daily note you can also uh, right click on the day and then say or click on show events so you can also see the shortcut here if you forget it and let's create a time block from here so now we have one important task for example and we can drag it just like we did in the daily notes drag it to from the editor here inside the sidebar and then drop it select event or time block and then drag the time in which you want to do this let's go back to today now you can click on the calendar or hit command t now we're back to today and you see that this time block comes from somewhere else from the project node you can either click on the time block and then jumps back to the project node where it comes from and also what i forgot to say uh, no plan added automatically the date tag here as well uh, without the date tag just the time it would not work because no plan wouldn't know on which day you want to do this in which day the time lock should be added let's go back to today um, you also see the time lock here in the references because now it's referenced through this link which I just mentioned and there's a third place from which you can create time blocks this is from search and filters and let's open these this project filter here and I have one checklist item with a tag in this case and from here you can also drag it either into the calendar to schedule it or into the uh, timeline on the right to also to schedule it but also to give it a time for example let's edit after our important task and then we drag the end time and we'll automatically also update here in the search so now when we go to today we see we have the reference tasks at the top with the timing and also we have them in the uh, sidebar and you can click on them again and it opens the project node